Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Taurus. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So it could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation, but please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. So I'm starting off the reading today with the Light Sears Tarot, and then we'll use the Radiant Rider Weight to clarify the Romance Angels, and then finish off the reading with the Soulmate and Separation Unspoken Love Messages. So let's get into this. Angels of love alike, we please have clear and concise messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know in relation to love? Please and thank you. So we're just cutting up the deck now for you guys, and then we'll lay out the cards on the table. Okay, first of all, we have the Five of Cups. Magician in reverse. The Moon in reverse. Okay. Knight of Cups. The Emperor in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. And then Death and Rebirth. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wow, guys. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus or a Scorpio with that Wheel of Fortune coming out reverse. We've got the Two of Cups. We have Taurus and Libra energy here with the Empress in reverse. We have Aries here with the Fool in reverse. And we have Sagittarius with Judgment. Interesting. We have Gemini with the Lovers. But on the table we have Strong Aries. We have Strong Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo and Scorpio again with that Magician. But you could be dealing with a um, a fellow earth sign, an air sign, a water sign, or a fire sign. Okay, so let's get into this reading. Wow. Okay, so, wow. Um, I'm feeling more on the lines that I'm picking up on your person's energy rather than necessarily yours. But obviously, kind of switch it around to however this resonates, guys. Um, there is someone who feels very, very sad and they feel very, very sad because they know that they didn't act with the best of integrity when it came to you. Um, and they are kind of paying for it right now. Um, they may have purposely caused a load of confusion in your life. They could have been intentional in the sense of, um, manipulating a situation between the two of you. They wanted power. They want, wanted control. Not necessarily over you, but maybe over the situation of your connection. Potentially this person had a lot of options or they made it look like they had a lot of options, but actually they didn't really have that many options at all. Or potentially this person may have thought that you actually had um, lots of options, but really this person was kind of like the only option that you were kind of interested in at the time. Um, but I'm feeling that predominantly this person is going to take the mask off. If there has been lies, if there's been deceit, if there has been secrets, if this person was not really kind of thorough with you with explaining how they felt about you in the past or if they had their guard up or if they weren't emotionally available, then this person, um wants to change things and they want to do right by you but they're feeling relatively heartbroken as of right now because i'm getting the sense that potentially they could be dealing with their own karma okay um a taste of their own medicine i'm getting this person knows that when it comes to the connection with you um they are no longer confused about what they want but you are also no longer stuck and held back in some sort of confused state with this person and what was in the past or what's potentially happening now or what could be i feel like the veil has been lifted for you and you are now ready to make a decision about your life and about what you want for yourself and i feel that a lot of you may be interested in the idea of brand new love and that you're done with the past you're done with the old connection with this past person that you want new new to come into your life and I feel like you're getting ready to 
embrace that if that is something that you are wanting but everyone's story is different here guys i feel like whoever you were dealing with in the past if it is this particular person or if it's just in relationships in general then you may have had your guard up um or this person made you um in a sort of way put your guard up and i feel like it's taken a long time for you to kind of get in tune with your emotions um lessen the anxiety and the fear that you may have when it has come to love and to then eventually drop your guard in relation to this and go through a massive rebirth and transformation and i feel like um it's either gonna be brand new love coming into your life with a completely different person a different soulmate of sorts or what have you or it's got to be this person from the past if they are to change things around and to do right by you and to go through a rebirth themselves and then to adjust the issues that they may have or emotional baggage to do with whatever happened in their past because I feel like that is something that they've been carrying around on their back and that potentially could be a reason why they sabotage the connection with you and I feel in a sense it was a purposeful sabotage um not necessarily to try to get one up on you because it was some sort of malicious intent, but I feel predominantly is that this person was coming from a place of fear and insecurity and doubt, and they didn't have the highest, um, you know, have themselves in the highest regard when it came to love. Maybe they didn't have self-love or they've been struggling with that. So I feel like this person... Um, they just know that basically they put their cards to their chest and they didn't express to you what they wanted and i feel like there's something that's happening in their life where they're getting some sort of karma from that that's all i keep on wanting to say that's all that wants to keep on coming out but this person knows that you admitted defeat from whatever happened in the past you've been awakened to something that was going on um, you don't want necessarily a wishy-washy superficial connection or, you know, a fly-by-night thing with this person or with anyone else for that matter. I feel like you want a solid kind of two-way love where someone is going to be, you know, taking you out. Someone who's going to be, you know, um, confident enough to be able to make the move, to come forward towards you, to um, date you properly, I'm getting none of this kind of breadcrumbing and ghosting and all this other ish that we've got all these you know things that are going on these days i mean i can't even keep track with half of the new dating terms that come out it's it's ridiculous um but i feel like you just want everything to be um how you want it and it's not like you're necessarily asking for too much i feel like you're not sitting there with a checklist of like your future demands of what you want in relation to love but i feel like you're not asking necessarily for much just to be treated with equal reciprocity of respect and common courtesy and i feel like that is something that has been you know um not very that's not really come forward into the picture from whatever happened in the past and i feel like you're just finding this new sense of self-love for yourself and embracing a new beginning and ending an old chapter and getting ready for something brand new okay but you don't want to feel sad anymore with whatever happened before but this person is regretting whatever they've done and they know that their cups have been spilled so they're crying over spilt milk now and they're potentially being very childish um very childish here because they wanted to um be the bigger they wanted to kind of come across as the bigger person and, and as a sense like oh i'm the big here i am kind of thing rather than the bigger person of doing the right thing they wanted to I'm getting showboating for some reason so this person could be relatively cocky or they could have been or relatively arrogant or you know um, they had a certain way about them but this person wanted to have their cake and they wanted to eat it too and they may have been trying to hide that but I feel like you um, caught on to that in some sort of way by following your intuition so whatever was potentially um, holding you back in the past from whatever happened with this certain illusions at play, I feel like you managed to find a new sense of freedom and confidence within yourself to move on forward and, you know, 
someone's true characters at the time, someone's true colours of their character at the time has been revealed to you. You know, you may have turned a blind eye to this person's behaviour in the past or to the potential red flags that there may have been. But everyone's story is different here, guys. So um, obviously, as this is a general reading, we'll get into this properly. But this person, this person is fearful now that if they were to come forward to rekindle anything with you, that you won't want anything to do with them. And that if they were to come back in and to express the love that they have for you or the care for you and to build on a friendship and to establish something more solid, that you won't want anything to do with them. That you're just going to kind of shut the door in their face and then they're going to feel even, feel even worse. So I'm getting a sense of like humiliation or embarrassment or um, what have you. This person's confidence has been really knocked, especially if they've been dealing with a, a, another situation, maybe even a long term karmic partner or a karmic ex here where there's been a strong karmic connection. They could be going through a breakup, a separation or a divorce as of right now. They may have been um, trying to hold on to whatever they were dealing with in the past and it's not necessarily working out. It's not working out. I feel like there's been a sense of infidelity here, potentially. They could be dealing with someone who's very clingy at this time, who's very overbearing, very possessive. Um, they've definitely had power struggles in another connection and they're trying to get some sort of clarity on how to be able to move on. But first of all, they have to kind of pay their, their karmic lessons, as it were, here with judgment. I'm getting paid the price, so... Potentially, if this person didn't have the best of intentions in the past, then they're being they're being asked to pay up front for that now. If they are to have the new beginning that they want, especially if they want to have this with you, with the lovers, with the ace of pentacles. This person wants something tangible and they're hoping that if they come back into your life, that you will um, forgive them if they apologize and they are sincere with this particular apology when asking for your forgiveness and that you can kind of um, make things right with one another and start all over again. But this person may have had very hot and cold ways about them and you may be a bit unsure about closing the gap because of this in the past. But they don't want anybody else to potentially be interfering in the connection with you um, but they've very much been stuck and up in their head about coming clean to tell you the truth of whatever they've been dealing with in the past. But I feel intuitively you kind of already know here with the high priestess and you're keeping yourself to yourself, retreating from this person. You know that most likely this person was dealing with other options. You know that you weren't necessarily the only one that they were probably dealing with at the time. You may have felt used by this person in some sort of way or led on. But this person is wanting to do right by you. Now, I'm getting. Wanting to do right by you now. But I feel like they're definitely suffering in some sort of karma to do with the past. Potentially with a baby mum or a baby daddy. Doesn't necessarily have to be, guys. And they feel stuck in relation to that. And potentially... You may be embarking on brand new love in your life while this person is remaining stuck in another situation until they kind of do the right thing, I'm getting. But it takes time to do the right thing. But I feel like I'm going to clarify now with these um, Radiant Rider Waite cards here. With this tarot deck we're going to clarify the majors on the table so the reading may be a little bit longer because of the clarifying so we have the magician here in reverse we have the moon in reverse the emperor in reverse and death and rebirth okay but the thing is you shouldn't this is going to be maybe a specific message okay i'm getting that you shouldn't necessarily let whatever happened in the past hang over your head. 
you know, don't let it, don't get blocked in your own self with having new love if that is what you are wanting because you are lacking in confidence or self-esteem and feeling potentially ungrounded from whatever happened in the past. I feel like you may be needing to take some time to kind of heal, to get realigned, potentially with your more kind of feminine energy I'm getting. And this will in turn allow you to um, feel worthy of the new love coming in for you if this is really genuinely something that you are wanting but this person has now got a previous relationship or situationship with whoever or a third party situation of sorts and they've got that kind of hanging over their head now but don't let all of this kind of prevent you from doing things that are going to make you happy because you're going to have a brand new rebirth in your situation you know, without this person or with this person, re regardless, whatever it is that you are wanting in relation to this. But they're definitely receiving some sort of bad karma as of right now. Because they weren't truthful and open and honest. They weren't transparent. You may have been very genuine, very upfront and said what you wanted. But I feel like this person got you know got warned in the past but i feel like they they kind of carried on anyway because they weren't in tune with their intuition you know with these double sevens here in reverse there was a warning they definitely got given the warning and they ignored it and so therefore now you're going through massive changes okay so why is the magician here in reverse why is the magician here in reverse Taurus. Wow, oh my gosh, guys, look at this. The world and the fool, wow. Oh my gosh, with the nine of pentacles. Wow. This person hasn't made it obvious to you that they are trying to break free and become single from another situation and to have a new beginning with you. This is what they are wanting. You are closing out a very old cycle with this person here, with the world and then the fall, 21 to zero. You could be dealing with an Aries strongly here with that fall. We've got more fixed sign energy with the world. Yeah. This person doesn't want you to be single for long. They know that they didn't put in the effort with the connection with you in the past, but they're hoping to turn things around and actually sit in there in their power here with the emperor because they felt very disappointed with themselves i'm getting here with the nine of cups in reverse that they didn't take action before and that they may have um breadcrumbed you or what have you this person may have had a way about them potentially they may have been relatively greedy wanted to have their cake and eat it too but they want to renew this whole connection between the two of you and do right by you potentially there's the illusion that this person doesn't want to do anything with you or you may not necessarily seen any of that you know it's not been physically made obvious to you that this person wants to do right by you and have a new beginning um but they do here with that emperor they want you to have trust and have faith in them that they can make the changes for you and them to have the new start. And I'm getting the start that you should have had in the beginning. This person has been holding back their truth for a very long time here with the, with the Ace of Swords in reverse. They know that because they didn't come forward towards you in their true authentic self and speak up of their truth, that there may have caused a little bit of hostility between the two of you because they had um, um, not been fully open with you. Look at that. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to put in the work now. They want to come out of hiding and they want to put in the work. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This person sees that potentially you're doing very well for yourself. You are embracing your um, your whole self, I'm getting, because you've gone through a massive transformation. I'm getting metamorphosis. So you completely upgraded your life. You've had a massive glow up. 
Potentially you may feel like this person doesn't see you, but they they really do see you. They really do see you. And they know that other people are collaborating with you at this time as you embark on a brand new beginning and you're having this major glow up. Yeah. Other people are going to be coming forward towards you, but they know that they broke your heart here with the Three of Swords because they weren't open with their feelings. And that even though this person did this to you, or they acted the way that they did, or what have you. You've not become bitter from any of it. You know, you've had the heartbreak, the sadness, the difficult times. But you haven't let all of that kind of stop you from having this brand new beginning that you were wanting for yourself and for your future. What else here for the magician in reverse here, please? Look, you're moving on to Karma Waters. How beautiful is this? Six of Swords. And you're letting go of any of the ish from the past. Any drama that there is, you're, you're getting away from that in your own new authentic truth and self. This person knows that if they are to have the new beginning to move on to Karma Waters with you and to collaborate with you and have all this beautiful energy, they need to let go of people, places and things and drama and conflict and chaos and what have you from their past if they are to have this with you. Yeah, because they don't have the follow through in their life and they won't move on forward and they'll be stuck in confusion and held back from having a reunion or union with you being manifested until they drop potentially um, the baby mama or the baby daddy who's been a heavy burden on them in a karmic connection of sorts that wasn't really good for them anyway they have to be um telling you they have to tell you anything but they're fearful the thing is, it's like they know that they have to let go of what they need to let go of, but they are fearful of letting go of this other situation and fearful of being honest to this karmic partner or this karmic ex because of the consequences of their actions. They have already feel like they've got a lot of, you know, <laughs> they've been dished up a lot of dirt already. So if they were to do more than that and not like if they were to say what they genuinely want to say with this other person or other people that they're dealing with to have the peace they know it's going to cause a load more ish and i don't feel like this person is quite ready for round two as of yet with that you know <laughs> i'm getting the sense of like a boxing match you know when you have multiple rounds and you have to get through all the rounds or as many as possible to kind of win the match this person knows that they're pretty much coming up towards Mike Tyson or whoever that you can kind of, you know, relate to. They know whoever they need to deal with. And it's it's kind of scaring the bejesus out of them, basically, because they don't want to do it. It's like they want to do it because they want to have a new beginning with you. And they hate the idea that you potentially are embarking a new, a new journey without them and potential new love. And they want to have this love with you. But they know that they have to face what they need to face before coming forward towards you. So it's kind of like a, oh, you know, don't make me do it. But I know I've got to do it if I want to have this, this, you know, with you, this love. Look, I was just thinking in my head, can you please clarify the moon in reverse? And we got justice. And then the five of cups in reverse. So we have five of cups upright, five of cups in reverse. You are receiving karmic justi justice, right? And the end of hard times here. Because you're going to get the clarity that you are needing from this person. From this other situation. Where you may have had your confidence knocked and not felt very uh, self-assured with yourself. Or what have you. You're getting, you're getting the information that you need. Strength. Beautiful. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra. 
You are having the courage and the conviction in your actions to trust yourself, to have faith that everything will balance out for you when it's ready to. You don't know of everything yet here with the High Priestess in reverse. Like, you are very intuitive and I get that you kind of know a lot of potentially what's happening. But you haven't got all the answers as of yet. Not everything is revealed to you. So you're kind of making a judgment call on the information that you have at this moment in time. But you haven't been told of everything yet. So it's kind of having trust and faith that eventually you'll be on the right track. You've gone through a lot of pain and heartache though. You've gone through a lot. One more for that moon in reverse. Any difficulties or obstacles that there have been, you're getting over all of that. Wow, this is so powerful, guys. The Magician in reverse. We got that up here in reverse. And the Four of Swords. You're healing from whatever happened in the past with this particular person. You're taking the time to kind of regroup with yourself. And then you're moving on forward here with the Chariot when you're ready to move on. You're very determined but you're not being forceful with this person or anything like that. You're very graceful with whatever this person will come forward towards you and speak to you and tell you what was going on, regardless of how they didn't treat you probably properly in the past. You're going to be still open and receptive to hear what this person has to say to if they are going to try to bring balance to your life and drop the burden of whatever happened in the past. I feel like they're really going to confide in you and tell you whatever they've been going through and it's been uh, relatively challenging and that they've gone through a massive ego death here with Scorpio energy. Or that's what they'll have to do if they are to make plans to come forward towards you. Why is the Emperor here, please, in reverse? Ten of Swords, yeah, they're going through it right now. They are having a lot of um, anxiety and stress. Potentially this person is getting um, backstabbed as of right now, betrayed in some sort of way. Double tens, ten ten. There's definitely a massive ending occurring here. A lot of unwanted change, but it's needed to happen if they are to have this reunion or union with you. Maybe they got stabbed in the back by someone that they had... Um, a close family relationship or connection with yeah look at that as I say that with the nine of wands this person has been hurt because they got the bandage on their head everything seemed to look great and rosy on the outside but they've actually been very hurt yeah it's all been secrets here this person's secretly trying to figure out a way to come forward towards you I feel like you kind of know that already but they're trying to figure it out yeah, how to leave a third party situation with the Three of Cups in reverse. Wow. What else here for this Emperor in reverse, please? They've got other people as of right now who are really bad mouthing um, them. Um, potentially you as well. The truth is coming out. I'm getting the truth will set you free. So yeah, there's going to be clarity on a situation. This person will eventually have their breakthrough to end the old situation. They didn't want to end it because they didn't want to rock the boat. But now they have no choice but to rock the boat, to heal, to speak of their truth, to say what they need to say, regardless of how difficult and awkward it is, if they are to close out this painful cycle in their life and to get out of a connection that has been mainly codependent here, financially or emotionally. Yeah, and this came out sideways here with the lovers and the two of wands. There is a block in this person making plans and coming forward towards you for a reunion or a reconciliation until they do this. So they want to reach out to you here with the page of wands, but they're not, they're not getting access to you to be able to do that as of yet until they close out what they need to close out. But they're watching you from afar, potentially... Um, having new blessings come into your life. Look at that with the four of wands and the wheel of fortune. You've healed your heart or you are healing your heart and you're having a brand new connection coming in if that's what you're wanting. 
if that's not necessarily the case, I feel like the tables have turned, I'm getting. The tables have, have turned. So why is death and rebirth here, please? You could be dealing with a Gemini here. But this person's having to make a choice. They've got a choice to make. Because they feel restless in this other situation. They don't feel fully in their personal power by being where they are. And... If they are to want anything with you, then they have to do right by you and break up with whoever they need to break up or let go of what they need to let go of if you and them are to have anything. Look, temperance, Sagittarius energy, two of cups. This temperance coming out in reverse is saying to me that this person is overthinking as of right now on how to end what they need to to bring in this union or reunion with you. But this person knows that you're not going to tolerate a load of BS, basically. You're going to cut the BS out. Because unless this person does right by you and treats you properly, then you're embarking on brand new love. You're kind of done with all the drama, all the conflict. You're wanting something brand new. This person's probably going to have to show their cards to you. And they didn't show their cards. So... They may even come across as a little bit desperate, guys, because they want to be, you know, where you are. Because you're the empress, of course. But you're not going to tolerate any ish of backwards and forwards anymore with the two of pentacles in reverse because you want equal give and take here. And that's what you are deserving of and that is what you are expecting for when it comes to future connections and that's what you are wanting you're, dro you're dropping whoever you need to drop because you don't want to be juggled. You could have a few potential uh, financial issues that you may have been dealing with that has been difficult. You've had to juggle, you know, multiple things in your life. But I feel like you're getting harmony relatively soon in relation to that or some sort of help, which is going to allow you to have the stability that you are wanting to embark on a new journey. Look at that with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. You've had a lot of past pain that you've been holding back, but I feel like you've been addressing this. You've done a lot of work on yourself and you're kind of coming out the other side. But you are not willing to be taking part in any third party situations whatsoever. I feel like you're done with all of that. The tower in reverse with the five of pentacles. Aries and Scorpio energy. Yeah, you're at the end of hard times and you've avoided a lot of drama, a lot of conflict and difficulties by staying well out of it. And I feel like you're going to be blessed relatively soon because you've kind of decided to let this person be and get on with what they need to get on with. You are becoming very grounded and I'm getting the word unshakable. So whatever is coming forward towards you, I feel like you are so solid in yourself that anything that comes forward to try to disrupt you anyway, you're not going to be harmed by it. Rather than it being a massive tower crushing down like some sort of earthquake, it's just going to be like, you know... Um, like a, rather than like a tsunami type of thing, it's only going to be a little wave. Like it's not really going to bother you. You may have been very unbalanced for a while because of whatever happened. But I feel like you are really um, protective of yourself. And there's nothing wrong in that. There's nothing wrong in that because people haven't been um, forthcoming with you. But you know that this person has to move on from what they need to in order to come forward. I'm getting lots of different messages here, guys, but obviously let's carry on here with the Romance Angels. So if you are enjoying this reading, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And if you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. If you are enjoying this reading, please hit that like button as it makes a massive difference with the channel and it helps get the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time. So thank you all so much. Everything you need to know about myself and the channel is in the description box below. 
And if you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there is a donation link now available in the description box. So thank you so much to those who have already donated and thank you to those who are thinking of donating. I'm very grateful for you all. So thank you very, very much. One more. It's difficult because you may be reluctant to make a decision when it comes to this person, you know. You may be a little bit unsure and I'm not surprised because when they come back into your life, they want to be, you know, healed and they see your worth and they're hoping that they can do right. That's all I keep on getting is that they want to do right by you. But potentially you may end up having an argument with this person. I feel like this is what they're fearful of. They don't want to have an argument with you. But they were a little bit sneaky in the past. I'm not going to lie. They were a little bit of like, you know, they're kind of out to get what they could take. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So yeah, they could have children in another connection of sorts or potentially you have children um, but I feel like this person wants to have children with you or they want to blend families release your ex the time has come to clear your energy and romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring yeah this person's going to release the ex if they just stayed in a situation because they had children they're going to release them because they have these feelings for you trust the situation is calling for you to have faith yeah this person's hoping that you can regain the trust with one another or you can gain this trust in them that they can do right and that they can heal the family so if you already have a family with this person and you had a breakup or a separation then they want to come back together and they want to heal the family between the two of you or if they have their own family then they're trying to get their you know um their family together in a sense of their like children to feel like they are going to be so safe and secure even if they were to potentially leave or break up or divorce their kind of parent as it were getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yeah this person wants to get to know you wow that's too many but this person sees marriage with you and a reconciliation that's what they want unrequited love there's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going and religious factors your love life has been influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path this person made it very clear to you in the past that they didn't have any interest I mean, if you were to sit logically and look on the, all the evidence of it, you would be like, oh, well, this person doesn't have feelings for me. But they do have feelings for you. But they came across as if they didn't have feelings for you. They haven't been able to show you the love that they have for you now that they've probably gained more recently. They may have always loved you, always may have cared for you. But they just didn't have the bottle to be able to show you what it is that they wanted. I'm getting lots of messages here, guys. But potentially they're dealing with an ex who says that they have romantic feelings for them, but actually it's unrequited love. They don't really want to get to know this person. They've been telling lies and they only stayed in the situation because they have children. But I feel like your person wants something more solid with you. Let's look at the soulmates in separation unspoken love messages and see what we can get here guys to close off this reading so this could be what you would like to say to them or what they would like to say to you as we do have cross watchers here guys this is if you have been in no contact with one another little contact or if you are talking um, then it could be a little bit sporadic guys so let's get a few messages to close off this reading so obviously this reading was naturally a little bit longer because we had more um, majors to clarify on the table here. Oh wow, straight out, gosh. Judgment, I'm making the decision once and for all to turn this around. Wow. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. 
I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and your warm embrace. I was misguided, I was blinded and could not see straight. Well, we know that because there's been a lot that's been going on. Life hasn't been too nice to me and I took that out on you. I swear I said that earlier. Gosh. If I could turn back time, I would do it all differently. Bottom of the deck. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions. Yeah. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. Give me more time. I'm working on being a better counterpart for you. And I feel like a fool for losing you. So, yeah. This is uh, hugely significant, guys. But you are wanting action from this person, not a load of pretty words. And they have to have the courage in themselves to come forward and show you of these actions rather than just telling you words. They know that you are worth it. You know that you are worth it. And that you don't want any hostility or negativity in your life. And you are ready to drop that if you need to. Because I feel like you have this stronger sense of self. Um, but this person wants to have more with you. You've, you're not playing mind games with this person. You have no hidden agenda when it comes to them. It was them that had the hidden agenda, not you. You were transparent to them. You were open. But it's down to them to make these changes for you and them to have something more if this is what you are wanting but everyone's story is different so anyway guys that is the end of the reading i hope that there was a message in there that resonated if not the whole reading um so let us know in the comments down below i'd love to get your feedback um if you did enjoy the reading please like share and subscribe leave us um, a comment as i've already said and i'll get back to you eventually on those comments okay guys so i hope you have a very good week and we'll speak to you very soon so please take care of yourselves Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.